well, welcome uh, to PC Shared. My name is Sergio, and as you know, I've been taking a bit of a break from the norm, so I should be uploading more build videos around September. So I thought I'd give you an idea of what I've been up to. Bit of a rejig in here, as you can see, there's a little bit more room, more space, and I am currently working on a project that is based on this open case. Uh, for those that don't know what this is, it's a thermal cake P5 and it's a open case with a plexi window. So on um, the moment uh, just, I'm installing a AMD motherboard which is Crosshair 5 Formula Z and that's with a AMD 8 core 9590 processor and that's being cooled by a EK or a block. Now this case is great but there is a few complications in regards to having an open case. Uh, number one, support wise radiators it supports uh, about 480 mil radiator. You can get bigger but then you have to lose this. You probably could get a 5, or maybe a 520 um, but then you have to lose the actual plexi window. Now it depends on what water cooling you want to do. So on this build, which is a build to sell, um, as you are aware I've been doing a few builds now for people and hence why I've been a little bit busy uh, accumulating parts for this build. Now if a recommendation radiator wise, if it was just a CPU because the AMD 9598 uh, core 5GB processor does run hot, uh, that's why we were going to water cool it. Um, and if it was just that, then a radiator like a, you know, uh, something like this, a 360, uh, that would suffice. Okay, now a few, that would be enough, as long as you've got 120mm cooling exchange per part that'll be fine. Now we could go bigger, this, those are with 120mm fans you've got a 420 and that will look like that and it's a little bit bigger and that would be enough for the CPU and a couple of uh, graphics cards uh, if you're going sly or try sly. Now what I've decided because this is a build to sell um, I've gone for the full blown uh, 480 and this is by uh, Magic Cool, uh, sorry Coolgate this one, you'll probably see it up there. Um, and this is a full 480 mil by 65 triple pass uh, fins. So the fin density, you'll be able to see, you can see at the back. It's uh, 10 fins per inch, so you can use uh, like uh, airflow fans dead low and still fantastic cooling. The other advantage of that is that you'd be able to overclock the CPU if need be, your graphics card, and you've got plenty. Now, re reservoir wise, decided because the case is just is asking for a big reservoir. Now, there's a plate here which you can mount your. Um, Water uh, not water block, your pump, or you can actually mount it uh, freely. The pump I'm going to use is this lovely bad boy top spin change. Okay, so the actual pump itself, there you go, is variable. You can control the pressure, and the top that's most likely going to look like that. Now you could mount it like that, so you've got a front facing, but just to let you know the inlet is there and the outlet is there, so you look a bit naff so by simply just doing that and then you'll be able to put directly mounted either on top, have a bit of a gap and you can see that is just about right I've tried different um, reservoirs and it just didn't look right um, I tried a, uh, a 240, bear with me, 
da, da, da. got stuff stuck everywhere. Uh, so, so this is a that's a 240. And you can tell it just doesn't look right, does it? Even if you mount it up, it just looks too short. So anything, I think 400 mil. This is by Bits Power. Um, 400 mil. It is just right, the right length to go inside with the radiator. If you look next to the radiator, it's just about right. Uh, Power-wise, we're going absolutely overkill. AX 1200 watt power supply. This thing is a beast uh, in regards to the actual 12 rail. So let's have a look. 12 rail has got 100.4 amps. Um, so yeah, that's going to be taken care of, and that's going to be mounted sideways there. Okay, with a bracket holding it. Um, graphics cards, that's the big question. There is, because this is a build to sell, I've got several options. Uh, this board supports up to a tri sly uh, IA on NVIDIA graphics cards and Crossfire as well on AMD cards. Uh, so, graphics cards. I've got, uh, at this moment in time, three 680s, four gigs, and that's uh, three of them, and that's going to be linked with a terminal uh, block, so that's one option. I also have air-cooled uh, graphics cards, again, I've got more Titans, got Titan X 12 gig, um, two of those possibly, or even two Titans uh, 12 gig air-cooled. Um, I think I'm going to put the 680s in just to see how it perform because they were play virtually using for gaming at 4K, not a problem. Uh, three of them, plenty. And the power supply is more than ample to do that. Um, fan wise, of course, as you know, I'm a big fan of Corsair. Uh, all the fans that I use are AF. Uh, you're probably going to give me some stick. Why aren't you using pr static pressure fans? Well, I am very particular of what radiators I pick. Now if you pick a radiator that's got a high density fins per inch, then yes, you're going to need a, uh, a lot of static pressure to push it through. Now the reason I specifically got this radiator is because this is an open case. Okay, So noise wise, you can't insulate it. So that's why I can virtually use fans like these and turn them down, use a, a voltage reducer and bring the noises really quiet. Um, those are LED 140s and these are just uh, standard AF quiet version and that's what, that's what I tend to use. I mean that's why I keep a rook of them because I use them all the time. They're superb, never let me down. So there you go. So that's the build I'm currently involved with. So uh, sorry I haven't posted any videos, but I've been doing a lot, a lot of stuff for uh, friends, a few customers as well, and I had to kind of rejig here. I got another shed, so now I've got my testing station there, got my workbench. Um, I've got already working on another project. Um, I've got still those two down there to sort out. Um, so yes, you'll notice that all the motherboards that I use are Asus. So that's another build I did on YouTube. So if you want to check a couple of videos, I did a X99 Rampers Extreme water cool jobby, which was like um, snapped off my hands even before it was actually finished. Um, so that got sold. This is a uh, Rampers Extreme, which I haven't had time to put. In, and guess what? I've got another X99 Extreme motherboard uh, for another build. So lots of builds. Fittings wise, what I'm going to be using and tubing wise. Um, tubing, 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 where are you? Let's have a quick gun. Maybe I can get one of them out. I actually went slightly different this time round. I am using a Monsoon's 16mm PETG. Uh, blood red on the spilled, which I think look pretty awesome. Okay, pull that back so you can actually see it properly. And to go in hand with this, yes, 
there you see so you can still see it through so I think that looked pretty cool um, I probably a lot of people are sick of red bills but I'm gonna do a bit of a twist on this and uh, the fittings are actually going to be using uh, monsoons free center 16 mil acrylic fittings and these I will be coupled with a coupler like that so that gets glued I think if you watch another of my videos you'll see it uh, you put the collar in and that kind of locks in place so it worked really well for the last one um, I was going to retry the alpha fittings but that's going to be used for another build so there you go so a lot more parts uh, acquired a few more radiators I gotta say I've got I'm a big fan of alpha cool radiators but I got to admit, Coolgate absolutely uh, some top quality uh, radiators. I never used them before, but I mean this is a 140 mil. I mean um, single radiator. To give you an idea, I mean I've got half of Cool's. That's a, that's the difference. That's a 120, and that's quite a low density. Um, but I do have a 140. No, so sorry. Even the 120, quality-wise, it's. I would say it's. Can I dare say it? Is it actually better than Alpha Cool? I mean the the fin density is spot on for what I need. But yeah. So I've been trying different radiators for the last couple of builds I've done. Um, you know I've not posted any videos on them because I've been just busy actually doing them because as you know when someone orders a computer they want it as quickly as possible um, I had a, a customer of mine a local guy um, actually requested um, to use part of his build and gave me a bit of a spec of what he was needed and I managed to do a build for him so I've got a video on that um, and that was a, a lovely build um, and that was a quick turnaround for the guy that I actually delivered to the guy the guy lived about five minutes away from me um, but yeah magic cool and cool gate I mean I've, I've used several I mean I've got phobia um, again might be trying a more different brands because I am loyal to the companies I get parts but if there's something that is better performing um, and not as well known like Coolgate um, I'll try it so this should be a testament on this build and how it performs a 480 to cool a well known hot CPU but great CPU and three graphics card if it's a tri uh, 680 is 4 gig uh, they all classified uh, versions EVGA uh, all water blocked and see how it performs so watch this space and it's actually nice to have the space to work now I had another shed built and uh, now I've got the space to work so I've got my storage sorted got my bench, got my test bench got the other shed is just for storage of all the cases and all the stuff that's valuable that's locked away and this here is just I get what I need. Alright, so until next time, thanks very much for watching. If you like what you see, let us know. Give us some comments. We will very much appreciate it. Bye.